dear students uh, this is our 18th lecture on bio organic chemistry and continuing with enzyme catalyzed reactions in this uh, lecture we will discuss about isomerization reactions uh, the process of conversion of a molecule into another molecule with different structure but with same molecular formula is called as isomerization so these types of reactions Uh, basically they take place where one group of atom is transferred from one place to another place and generally uh, the transfer of hydrogen take place from one atom to another and such type of reactions they are called as isomerization reaction and uh, this uh, transfer of hydrogen can be of three types that is uh, one one hydrogen shift 1 2 hydrogen shift or 1 3 hydrogen shift the 1 1 hydrogen shift is the shifting of hydrogen at the same atom of the molecule leading to racemization so when uh, the substrate has only one chiral center then racemic product will be formed but it will be called as epimerization if the substrate is having more than one chiral center so such type of uh, shifting of hydrogen at the same atom is called as 1 1 hydrogen shift and uh, one example is uh, glutamate racemase enzyme catalyzed interconversion of enantiomers of uh, glutamate uh, is the example you can see over here uh, this type of amino acid in the presence of uh, enzyme Uh, the mechanism may be one base mechanism or two base mechanism in one base mechanism the active site of the enzyme contains only one base that base will abstract the proton from the substrate in the first instance and a carbonyl will be formed and then after abstracting that proton this base now will behave an as an ac and this proton will be again transferred back to this uh, substrate intermediate to give us a racemization product like this so uh, another enantiomer will be formed 50% of this 50% of this they will uh, racemize to give us a racemic product similarly uh, there is a possibility that uh, this mechanism may follow two base mechanism when the active site of the enzyme uh, has two act, uh, uh, two active sites one is acting as a base other is acting as an acid so one will abstract proton other will donate proton to uh, give us the racemic product in this case then another example uh, is racemization of uh, mandelic acid uh, this is uh, catalyzed by mandelate racemase as the enzyme so r mandelic acid is converted into s mandelic acid and here the mechanism is uh, like this that uh, if uh, we are having say s mandelate the active site of the enzyme Uh, this abstracts alpha hydrogen from uh, s mandelate whereas uh, uh, the active site is lysine 166 where uh, the uh, functional group is uh, nd2 or nh2 a minor functional group is there but when we are using r mandelate then the active site is histidine 297 where amidazolium will be acting as the base to abstract the proton here amino uh, group will be acting as the base to remove this proton and uh, then we will get this type of intermediate which will interact with uh, the active site of the enzyme to give us uh, these types of racemized products so s will be converted into r and r will be converted into s through this mechanism and overall there will be one one hydrogen shift in the process another example of one one hydrogen shift uh, is uh, leading to epimerization uh, is shown by uh, some uh, 
peptides in which uh, specific amino acids of the peptide group they will undergo epimerization. So, first deprotonation will take place, then reprotonation will take place for the epimerization of the uh, peptides. So, uh, first uh, the active site of the enzyme uh, which is having a base as well as an acid. Here, this B will be having a positive charge. So, this will abstract uh, this proton uh, which is uh, at the alpha carbon to this uh, imide and uh, after the uh, abstraction of the proton this carbon carbon double bond will be converted into an enolate like this and then this enolate will abstract this proton from the other uh, active site of the enzyme and uh, we will get the epimerized product like this the hydrogen uh, will be shifted from alpha to beta. So, this type of uh, product formation is called as epimerization. When uh, hydrogen is shifted uh, at the same uh, atom of the molecule. Then is uh, 1 to uh, hydrogen shift. Here uh, in these types of isomerization reactions, alpha hydroxy aldehydes they are reversibly converted into beta keto alcohols. The mechanism of the reaction is uh, that uh, one active site is acting as a base this will abstract uh, proton from the alpha hydroxy aldehyde and uh, uh, this will form a carbon oxygen double bond and then this hydride ion will be shifted to this carbon and this proton will be given by the other active site of the enzyme which will be acting as an acid. So, after the reaction the active site which was a base will become an acid and the active site which uh, was acting as an acid will become basic and then further reaction will take place this acting as a base this acting as an acid till all the alpha hydroxy aldehydes they are converted into beta keto alcohols and we can see that such type of shift hydrogen is shifted at the second position this is called as 1 2 hydride shift mechanism and the reaction uh, is catalyzed by aldose ketose isomerases these are the enzymes which convert alpha hydroxy aldehydes into beta keto alcohols then is 1,3 uh, hydrogen shift. The enolization of uh, phenyl pyruvate and related compounds, uh, they are the examples of 1,3 hydrogen shifts or these are also called as allylic isomerizations. And uh, uh, three types of mechanisms, uh, they, uh, they can be involved in these types of 1,3 hydrogen shifts. Uh, one may be carbonine mechanism like this. Uh, this uh, active site on the enzyme will be acting as a base, acid base mechanism. Uh, this will abstract uh, this proton at the allylic position and this will become a carbonine as the intermediate and uh, because uh, the allyl group this bond can shift to this place and carbonine can be formed at this place. And then another active site which will be acting as a as an acid. And then proton will be abstracted from here at the third carbon. So, basically hydrogen from this position 1 will be shifted to this position 3. So, 1, 3 hydrogen shift has taken place and this mechanism is called as carbonine mechanism. Similarly, other mechanism can be carbocation mechanism. Carbocation mechanism, the first active site which will be involved will be an acidic active site on the enzyme. This will provide proton to the allylic bond. So, this carbon carbon double bond will be converted into a carbocation and then uh, the other active site will act as a base uh, which will abstract this proton and we will get the product by 1,3 hydrogen shift. And the third uh, uh, type of mechanism is concerted 1,3 sigma tropic hydride shift. 
so this hydride will be shifted from this place to this place with the movement of the carbon carbon double bond so such type of shift is called as 13 hydride shift mechanism for allylic isomerization so basically uh, for all types of enzymatic reactions in case of 13 hydrogen shift any of uh, these three mechanisms can be there so one example of 13 hydrogen uh, shift is uh, the use of allylic isomerases uh, in these types of steroidal compounds uh, here uh, in these steroids uh, del5 uh, this is uh, double bond at 5 6 position del5 androstein 317 dione 3 and 17 dione in the presence of 3 oxo del5 steroid isomerase enzyme this will be converted into so one of the hydrogens from here will be shifting to position 6 so from 4 to 6 1 3 hydrogen shift and this bond will shift to this place and we will get this as the product del5 will be converted into del 4 androstein 37 diones so such type of For isomerizations, they are called as 1-3 hydrogen shift. Then uh, is the cis-trans isomerization. Uh, this is most common uh, among the isomerization reactions, and th this example is the most common example: the conversion of vitamin A into 11 cis retinol. So retinol, that which is called as vitamin A, in the presence of enzyme retinol uh, acyl transferase so here mechanism of the reaction is that uh, this active site on the enzyme here this group will be acting as a nucleophile this will attack this carbon carbon double bond so the shifting of uh, this uh, double bond to this place this to this place and this carbon oxygen bond will be broken and we will get this type of methylenic intermediate where the enzyme will form a covalent intermediate with the substrate substrate is retinol in this case so enzyme substrate complex in the form of this covalent intermediate will be formed and then there will be carbon carbon bond rotation the trans product will be converted into a cis intermediate the trans intermediate will be converted into a cis intermediate and then this will undergo uh, hydrolysis uh, addition of uh, water will take place to this and uh, the uh, enzyme covalent uh, bond will be broken in this case uh, with the use of one another active site on the enzyme which will act as a base which will increase the nucleophilicity of this water which will act as a hydroxide ion over here and this is how retinol will be converted into 11 cis retinol and this mechanism is sn2 type of nucleophilic substitution in the second step thank you very much